Hello, coming to you with another Dragon Age Inquisition tutorial and this time we have the duelist Isabella and let's see her abilities now now the duelist is quite interesting it has it has uh, evasion duelist is an evasion and the way evasion works is that you get stacks of evasion and stacks of and maximum stack of uh, evasion is 3 and how evasion works is that you will automatically dodge any magic attack, any ranged arrow and melee attack automatically if you have one stack of evasion. So if you have full stacks you can dodge three consecutive attacks. And this will help you survive with the duelist. And with the naturally evasive passive you will get an increasing, uh, you will get an extra eva elusive stack. Well, elusive is the evasion stack, so that will give you four stacks of evasion, which will which will in turn allow you to dodge four attacks. So how do you gather elusive uh, elusive stacks? Well, uh, le well, let's start with the first ability, which is bolt. Now, bolt is basically a ranged weapon ranged weapon attack. It costs 15 stamina and deals 200 weapon 200% weapon damage. So this is basically a ranged ranged attack that you can pretty much cast without cooldown, but it costs 50, 50 stamina, 15 stamina I mean. But uh, the targets who are attacked by the bolt are marked with the vendetta debuff, which means the enemies that are affected with the debuff will take extra damage for the duration of the debuff. And uh, now, when enemies are afflicted with a debuff, you have this ability, Flashing Steel. Now, this ability deals 300% weapon damage. So that's great. And, more importantly, this ability removes Vendetta from enemies to grant you Elusive, which fully negates the next attack against you. So, if an enemy is afflicted with a Vendetta debuff and you attack it with Flashing Steel, you get one stack of elusive. Now elusive is an area effect spin attack, so if you have multiple enemies affected with vendetta at the same time, using flashing steel on multiple targets will grant you multiple stacks. So basically if you have four four enemies all have vendetta deep off of them, you go in the middle of them and hit every single enemy with a flashing steel, you will get instantly full stacks of elusive or evasion. I like to call it evasion, let's just call it evasion from now on. And so, yeah. Now, hello, coming to you with another Dragon Age Inquisition tutorial, and this time we have the duelist, Isabella. And let's see her abilities. Now, now the duelist is quite interesting. It has, it has uh, evasion. Duelist is an evasion, and the way evasion works is that you get stacks of evasion and stacks of and maximum stack of uh, evasion is 3 and how evasion works is that you will automatically dodge any magic attack any ranged arrow and melee attack automatically if you have one stack of evasion so if you have full stacks you can dodge three consecutive attacks and this will help you survive with the duelist and with the naturally evasive passive you will get an increasing uh, you will get an extra elusive stack well elusive is the evasion stack so that will give you four stacks of evasion which will which will in turn allow you to dodge four attacks so how do you gather elusive uh, elusive stacks well uh, le well let's start with the first ability which is bolt now bolt is basically a ranged weapon ranged weapon attack. It costs 15 stamina and deals 200 weapon 200% weapon damage. So this is basically a ranged ranged attack that you can pretty much cast without cooldown, but it costs 50, 50 stamina, 15 stamina I mean. But uh, the targets who are attacked by the bolt are marked with the vendetta debuff, which means the enemies that are affected with the debuff will take extra damage for the duration of the debuff. And uh, now when enemies are afflicted with the debuff, you have this ability, Flashing Steel. 
Now this ability deals 300% weapon damage. So that's great. And more importantly, this ability removes Vendetta from enemies to grant you elusive, which fully negates the next attack against you. So if an enemy is afflicted with a Vendetta debuff and you attack it with flashing steel, you get one stack of elusive. Now elusive is an area effect spin attack, so if you have multiple enemies affected with Vendetta at the same time, using flashing steel on multiple targets will grant you multiple stacks. So basically if you have four, four enemies all have Vendetta debuff on them, you go in the middle of them and hit every single enemy with a flashing steel, you will get instantly full stacks of elusive. Or evasion. I like to call it evasion. Let's just call it evasion from now on. And so, yeah. Now, those are the two your bread and butter abilities for stacking uh, elusive. And you want to make sure you have elusive up at all times. That will help you survive in the in the perilous difficulty. Especially on perilous difficulty. Now, there's this ability which is Vashbuckle. Now this ability removes all your current uh, elusive stacks or evasion stacks, but you will deal 700% weapon damage per stack on the enemy, on single target. So this will really, this is a boss killer. This will probably, this will probably, if you have full evasion stacks and you go on the end game commander, the boss, you can pretty much kill it in one, one swash buckle. But I personally do not use swash buckle. I use Ambush. Now what ambu Ambush does is that uh, this ability will remove Vendetta from enemies and grant you evasion stacks as well along with the... So between Flashing Steals and Ambush I will be stacking my evasion. Now the deal with Ambush is that it will deal 300 weapon damage but it will deal 900% extra weapon damage on targets that are not attacking you. Now using ambush will also taunt the enemy to attack you, uh, but it is very unlikely, depending if you have a good weapon or not, uh, that ambush will one-shot your enemy. So, and big and also, yeah, and also it is a precision detonator, which means it ca it can be used uh, to detonate combos such as uh, shatter and other discharge combos. And the cooldown is very short. You can pretty much spam this all the time. Same with uh, flashing steel. And so between flashing steel and ambush, you can pretty much keep your elusive evasion stacks at full, pretty much all the time. And uh, between the cool between cooldown of flashing steel and ambush, you are pretty much uh, shooting bolts everywhere to spread your vendetta as much as you can. Now, my third ability. Or should I say my last ability is broadsides. Broadsides. Now broadside is basically an AOE attack, cone attack, that deals 550% weapon damage in 5 meter radius. Now also the broadsides will spread vendetta on every distant secondary target, which is 10 meters. So if you wanna quickly spread your vendetta around without using all of your stamina on individual targets and spread it with bolt you can use broadsides and broadsides will spread sp will luckily if you have if you are lucky it will spread your vendetta on the entire group and then you can pretty much try to position yourself for a good flashing steal or just go ambushing people or both and broadsides also now and also with the upgrade broadsides deals increased damage as well as weakens all the targets it hits. So that's very, very useful. Now, you want to make sure you also upgrade upgrade ambush, because in case if your target survives the ambush, uh, attacking him will restore your stamina. 10 stamina per hit, so that's good. And also upgrading the flashing steel is important as well, because you will, you will deal 200% extra damage to targets who are afflicted by Vendetta. Yeah. And also reduce the stamina cost. Now as for passives, there are plenty of good, good passives what that you wanna pick, but most and but most of them are in the uh what is this? 
the crossbow tree, no quarter tree. And these are savvy. Each crossbow ability increased says the damage of your next dagger ability. So whenever you basically use a uh, bolt, bolt or flashing steel ambush broadsides or whatever, and uh, that will. All right. Now let's see what the duelist can do, and uh, I get to al I also get to showcase the dragon slayer mode, the Ferelden castle map. And hopefully, I don't have the item. I don't have the item required to summon the dragon, but hopefully, some of us has. I've already used mine. Ooh, they are already on me, so that's bad. Ouch. This is not good, you know. Fucking fuck, man. So basically what the deal with the... Deal with the... Deal with the duelist is... That you mark, mark your targets with Vendetta. And then... And then you attack them with your dagger abilities to gain evasion stacks. And evasion stacks will allow you allow you to automatically dodge attacks. Oh shit, they're coming. There's, there's plenty of enemies coming this way. Crap. Oh shit. Boom. And as you can see the fucking Venatori. The ambush, uh, the ambush deals a lot of damage on targets afflicted with Vendetta. And I wanna be using that as much as I possibly can. Boom. Here I use the broadsides to spread Vendetta on multiple targets at once. It's also important to refresh your Vendetta when you can. Making sure that you have all the stacks... Stacks up is gonna be very important. Nice. Now I can kill you. Boo. Oh, there's more of you. Figures. Nice. Now I'm gonna take you down. Bow. Bow. Nice. As you can see, the duelist is quite good, <laughs> to say the least. All right. Nice. I got the vendetta down. Kill you. Ah, uh, the fucking shielded guys can't shoot arrows through shields, so that's kinda bummer. What the? Oh, I'm being attacked by arrows, that's what it was. Okay, I'm gonna sit in here and now spread vendetta. Nice. And boom, spin. Kill this guy. Keep refresh vendetta. Also, I have the passive, I remember the name of the passive, but that passive will allow me to... Well, whenever an enemy dies with Vendetta on, the Vendetta will spread. So that's very useful. I'm gonna make sure that it is spread to as many targets as possible. Now I lost my stack, so I will fall back. And now I gained, gained a couple of more stacks and now I will still fall back. I wanna make it safe. I'm not gonna charge in if I don't have stacks because that's that's suicide. So 
always have stacks on when you when you charge. Nice. So far so good. Nice little kill streak going on there. I'm going over there. Feel free to join me. So yeah. That's basically the duelist. Oh I, I usually use broadside on big packs to quickly spread vendetta and also deal damage. And uh, pretty much use bolt on everything else. And remember if you wanna gain invasion stacks you must use the dagger abilities like flashing steel and uh, ambush on targets that have vendetta debuff on them. That's the only way to gain uh, evasion stacks. And if you already didn't figure out what the evasion stacks were, uh, they are these pirate coins down here. So I have four evasion stacks right now, which means I, my character will automatically dodge uh, four attacks. So that's good. Let's use broadsides. Let's kill this and this guy. Lost my stack, but I can gain it back. And also, you can gain gain multiple stacks by afflicting vendetta on multiple targets and then using flashing flashing steel, so it hits them all. You can pretty much gain max stacks, max uh, vendetta stacks from that alone. And as you can see, Ambush dealt, um, dealt 5,000, over 5,000 damage there, so easily one of my best abilities. One of my better abilities, that is. What am I, where are my allies? Mm, I'm gonna kill, well, I'm not gonna use Ambush. Ambush doesn't deal full damage if the enemies are uh, attacking you. So you wanna make sure that uh, uh, you ambush enemies that are, are are not already attacking you. That way you can actually deal the full damage of the ambush. Like this guy, he's not like, attacking me, so I can easily charge him like that. It wasn't enough to kill him because I didn't crit, but it was enough, it was enough to do a bit of damage to it. Boom. Thanks to the passive vendetta is spreading automatically, so that's pretty useful. I'm actually gonna go open this door. Boom. So if you didn't already figure out the duelist really really dominates on single target. Single target damage is where where the where the duelist can really shine. Oh, that didn't... That wasn't enough. Boom. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't want to use... I didn't want to use... Uh, let's use... Ben. Nice. Getting attacked by a lo lot of targets here, but that's fine. What the hell? Where I'm? Where I am charging? Boom! Boom! You have one dead or one death already. Let's kill this guy. Let's spread vendetta on you and spread vendetta on you. And gain two stacks from that. Let's charge you. Well, charge you. Well, never mind. Let's not charge you then. Let's throw this around. Let's charge. Well, fuck off. Why my ambushes are missing? I don't like that. This isn't going well, now you're dead. Lost my stacks, but we have barrier on. Uh, let's hope this doesn't come bite me in the ass. Nice. No, it wasn't a trap, so that's good. Did nobody open the door? Come on. Come on, guys. You can move on. You don't need me. Nice. Alright, we are halfway. 
Punch. Attack the bunny. Kill the bunny. Let's get one stack from him. Kill the gold. Boom. Wasn't enough to kill him though. That sucks. Now, I, now that I have zero stacks, I have to be very careful. Not to get killed. But I can get two stacks from him. Nice. You will die. Boom. Now I'm back at full stack, so... Awesome. Yeah, somebody summoned the dragon, so that's good. They had the item required. Oh, there's an Astalker there. Oh, I lost two stacks there. That sucks. So basically what you want to do is you want to keep running around. Keep moving so that archers miss you and stuff. Running out of... Running out of stamina here. Wanna make sure that I have that at least. I'm gonna kill these two. Now I'll kill you. Let's put... Yeah, nice. Try to give Vendetta on every single target that I can. Now that's a good spread. Yeah, nice. Boom, you're dead. You're next. Boom. Also, Flashing Steel does extra damage to the target if they have Vendetta on them. So you wanna make sure that Whenever you use f flashing steel, you use it on an enemy that has vendetta. That way you can actually gain some of the stacks. There's still enemies coming from somewhere. There you are. Boom. And let's... Boom. And yeah, I'll kill you. Nice. Nice, you're dead, you're dead. No, that's it. Cool. Oh, there's a door that we could probably open. We're gonna go test that. Yeah, it's a rogue door, that's good. Oh shit! This place is actually full of enemies. <laughs> That's a sight, isn't it? Yeah, I could easily take that room by myself because I am an awesome duelist. Duelist is very good, as you can see. You can survive, you can deal damage. Pretty much can do. Ah, crap, there was a chest the guy opened it. Well, that sucks. He didn't know, so I guess. Still a new map, so not everybody knows what's the deal here. I'm gonna go loot the gold. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, where the... Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Boom, you're dead. Now you're next. I don't care. Boom. And now you're all going to die. Now I've lost my stack, so I want to make sure that I can actually make it out alive. Gained one stack back. Ah, oh shit, I'm losing my stacks. That's, that, that's not good. I need somewhere to get them back. Nice, got one. Now I can get another. Nice. I go Wait, what? I didn't get a stack from that. Or I lost it instantly. I got a stack.
attack from him, that's good. And I lost it though. Well, that's two stacks. And nice. That's one stack. Who's next? I wanna make sure that I'm close to the virtuoso as well, so if I do lose all my stacks, uh, I won't die instantly. <laughs> because without stacks you are very, very vul vulnerable. Obviously. Let's loot the gold. Here we go, die. You die as well. Nice. Let's use the broad size on those guys. And let's kill this guy. Ah, he blocked it. Gay. Boom. <laughs> Fuck off. Triple kill. That guy's dead. Oh. He didn't die. Son of a bitch. Lost all my stacks now. Um, I'm gonna stay here. Oh, I'm very... I'm in a very bad spot now. One stack. Boom. <laughs> Got two stack instantly, lost them. <laughs> There's one stack. There's another stack, well I know I lost it. That sucks. It's just broad signs on you to kill you. The, the broad side weakening is really helpful as well. Gonna it's gonna negate a lot of damage. Boom. Gonna go get, gonna revive our little virtuoso so he can so he can actually support our people. Boom. You're dead. Oh shit. I got two stacks, that's good. Now... Nice. Did he open the chest that is here? Nope. Let's open it. Oh, it's a trap. Of course it is. But now... Oh, there goes my... <laughs> there goes all of my stacks. Doesn't matter though. Now we can focus on the dragon. The dragon is very easy. Luckily we are facing a frost dragon. And frost dragon is the easiest dragon of all the three. There are there's an inferno dragon, which is obviously a fire dragon. Then there's the storm dragon, which is the lightning dragon, and then there's the frost dragon, which is the ice dragon, basically. The dragon that we currently have. And the dra this dragon fight is quite simple, dodge everything that you can see. The dragon will also summon adds, so you have to kill them. So... This should be a piece of cake. Especially when there's, there's not any... The first dragon doesn't, doesn't have any... Really, a very dangerous gimmicks. All it, all it basically does is shoot ice, ice balls on you. And that's about it. I'm gonna use broad shots, maybe I can weaken it. I don't know if uh, high dragon high dragons are immune to weakening. But I'm really gonna benefit from my stacks here. And also my ambush is gonna deal a lot of damage on on the dragon. So basically now the dragon starts shooting random ice ice balls on you and summon uh, summoning adds. So, quite easy, all you have to do is keep moving here, dodge those blasts. If you get hit, you will get chilled. Oh crap, come on. Nice. Very, very easy. Just sit right here. We have to wait for it to land. 
Then we can actually continue. Too bad this is a frost dragon because if this was a storm dragon the fight would be more interesting. Because the storm dragon actually has a couple of very interesting abilities on him. And the inferno dragon also has a couple of interesting abilities. But the frost dragon is very boring. It only shoots ice balls. That's basically its ability. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm gonna ambush it, deal a lot of damage. And then... Yeah, as you can see. I dealt so much damage, or we dealt so much damage that the high dragon instantly went into this next phase. Next phase of the fight, so to speak. I'm losing all my stacks here. I need to gain some of them back from you. Ambush you and I will get my stacks. Boom. Nice. Alright, more enemies. I can see them on the map. There you are. Hit you. And now stacks. Thank you. More dragons. You. More stacks. Oh crap, I didn't get it. Well, I get it from you. Ooh, that's a nice little crit right there. There's one more ad. There he is. Nice, where are you going? I'm gonna use Buccaneer and weaken you. That way. Boom, boom, boom. Nice, let's kill the dragon. Boom. Ah oh shit, I should have reapplied Vendetta before I actually... Before I actually... Oh right, this ability. You have to stay... When you see dust, when the dragon does this wing attack, you basically have to stand, stand under the dragon so you don't take any damage. If you stand too far, the dragon will pull you towards, towards it. And you will take damage as well. And that's not good. You know. But soon the fight should be over. Oh, there's three dragons over there. Let's spread. Nice, got two stacks there. Two stacks of evasion there, so that's pretty good. Nice. Would, sh would you land, please, Mr. High Dragon? Nice. Why did he land so far away? Well, let's attack the back of his leg. Let's ambush. Well, didn't deal as much damage as I wanted. Alright. Nice. There we go. Ah. Did I say that this fight was pretty boring? <laughs> The other dragons fly away as well, but at least they do something. Other than, you know, fly away and shit. Let's... boom. I'm being attacked by... Dragons. Um, now I can... Can get two stacks from him. Shit. This is bad. Where are my allies? There they are. I shouldn't have run away from the virtuoso because he would have been able to buff me. But it sucked that my allies were elsewhere. They were probably killing other dragon links, that makes sense, I guess. Oh shit, I missed it. This should be it.
Nice. So that's it. That's the duelist. That's the dragon slayer. Pretty easy, even on perilous difficulty. No problem and stuff. So yeah. I like duelist. Let's see how how I scored. Kind of long game, which is unfortunate, but couldn't help, couldn't help that the dragon was pretty. The dragon was pretty much the reason for that. Oh, I didn't score the top points. That kind of sucks. The elementals did a lot of work. Well, I guess makes sense. He he is an elementalist after all. Elementalist is pretty powerful, but I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy for. For everything, so yeah. So that's it for the duel duelist. See you with a different class, and which is virtuoso.